morning, ladies. Good morning. And welcome uh, to this challenge. And, um, you know, uh, I'm a storyteller. That is my job. I believe that, you know, it's the stories that we hear, you know, told us by our parents, our friends, or by the media that forms our opinion of things maybe uh, past or things we don't know about. I can, through my storytelling, bring out the true essence of Africa, that side of Africa that you don't normally see, the side of Africa that we enjoy that seems to be a secret. So instead of stay, sitting on your chair and complaining about, oh, they only show bad things about Africa, so what I'm going to do for the rest of my life is to tell the other side of the story. You understand? And for me, that is enough to keep me waking up every day and fighting that battle. So it is beyond profit. It is beyond fame. It is how do you, is it possible for you to change the impression of a whole continent and a whole people. The word model means something distinct that is better than others. So when they call you a model, and when I'm a photographer, and I want to tell a story, I want to tell an excellent story, and I need somebody that I want to bring out, and then this person represents that excellence in the story that I want to tell, then I would find a human being that is separated from the rest of the species that we think exemplifies a higher, more refined, better specimen that others have to follow. So that is what modeling is, actually. <laughs> Being beautiful, the word beauty is such a relative word, if you get what I mean. It keeps changing with the times. There is one type of beauty which keeps changing based on people's perception within their environment, within the culture. Some of these attributes are hereditary. You, you really didn't contribute to it, you know? <laughs> it's from your mom or from your dad. So um, it could give you a little head start. It's what people call talent in life, you understand? But then there are other things. Modeling is, is, is like the cover of a product, but the real beauty is the content of the product. The rest of the world will see the beauty, but those who deal with the model will see the product. And we're talking about character here. So you should not aim to just be good as a model, which is the cover. You need to be a true model. And I'm talking about etiquette, I'm talking about positive energy, I'm talking about, you know, understanding human relations. These things that make regular people great, Strive for excellence, strive for perfection, ignore success. If that is what you're looking for, you've already failed before you started. You have to look for something higher, a higher purpose. So when that girl said, make me famous, I asked myself, what is fame? Please note, there's a difference between being famous and being notorious. If you're famous, then it is the positive side of notoriety. I wouldn't say that Adolf Hitler is famous. He's a notorious guy. Fame is what they give you in exchange for what you've given them. Be careful with excessive praise. What you should look for is feedback. You need to be humble. Being humble is different from being timid. And being confident is different from being arrogant. Yes. There's a fine line it's between fine both. Fine Humility is you understanding that life is a journey and that wherever you are, you still have something in front. It's a process. Now, the first thing to do, most importantly, is self-awareness. We are all unique and we all have something unique to offer to this world. So if you find that thing that you are, then there is a supply of only one and a potential demand of infinitum. As a model, there's only one you. So your value is priceless. Your story is important. How do you present your story? How do you present yourself? That is your brand. 
the unique story that you have to share is your brand. So think about your story. And your story is a function of you understanding who you are. If you excel 100%, become excellent as a model, you've already opened doors for yourself. And through that door, you can then show other people possibilities. Understand that modeling is a means to an end, and not an end in itself. When you understand that, you keep your eye on not just being a perfect model, but being a perfect human being. And that is what outlasts modeling. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.